I've got a couple of brackets that I want to try to do match up, but before I do that, let me try to show you how I made these jigs again. I've taken just a small piece of board here, and I got two angle brackets that I bought at Home Depot. They're about an inch and a half high on one side, two inches high on the other side. This one goes up an inch and a half, this one goes up two inches. Uh, basically, the way I use them is I rest the racket on this uh, bracket right here, and I put the butt cap up against that one, so that I know this racket's resting at the same point, which is 10 millimeters from the butt cap, because that's the distance from uh, that stop back there to the uh, front support there. Uh, for the other support, what I've done is I've taken a triangular ruler and I've just glued it down uh, on a wooden board. And I'll use that uh, because I, I'm going to measure the head and I wanted something wider that would come in contact with the racket. I've got some spacers now, and these spacers I'll just put in between these two points right here so that I know I'm always measuring the same distance or the same point on the racket relative to that butt cap. So that if I were to take a racket and put it on here, okay, uh, I know that this point is 10 centimeters from the stop at the butt and because of the length that I've got for this stick and how these boards are made up, this point here is 50 millimeters above, excuse me, 50 centimeters above this point. It's 60 centimeters from this point down here. Uh, the reason I use 10 centimeters here is because when you grip your racket, uh, the international standard or the, or the standard in the industry uh, when they're computing swing weight it, is to use a 10 centimeter point for some of them. Some of them and some of them use a four inch point. The two are a little different uh, which one you're actually using depending upon which machine you're using uh, you don't really know. <laughs> so anyway let's say that uh, I hit with this racket and I like this racket and I just happened to get this racket because this one's going out of style or something I don't know and I don't like this one because it's a little bit too light. So what I want to do is I want to match this racket up to this racket right here. Now just because I'm matching the, uh, the weight and the swing weight doesn't mean that both of these rackets are going to play the same. But uh, it could be that once I get to the point where uh, I match up the weights, they'll play very, very similar uh, or at least I'll be in the ballpark. So what I could do is I've got this set up now so that I can make my measurements. I'm going to turn on my scales and let them zero out. Okay, they're both reading zero. I'm going to take the Prince racket, put it on my scales, and this one reads 197 grams, this one reads 148 grams. So I could write that down. 197, 148. Then I could take the other racket. <clears throat> when I put the other racket on there, whoops, this one weighs 155 and 135. 155 and 135. All right, so if I wanted to match up this racket so that it'll have the same balance point as that racket over there and the same weight uh, I have to add 42 grams to the handle and I'd have to add 13 grams to the head. So uh, if I were using my lead tape which is one gram per inch that means I have to add six and a half grams at the three o'clock position and six and a half grams at the nine o'clock position. Then recheck everything. If I'm coming down here, this point here I had to add 42 grams which is over three feet of lead tape. So what I might 
want to do rather than doing that is I'm going to have to take this grip off, uh, put another grip on there. So uh, I might want to take the bud cap off and maybe put some uh, silicone inside the handle. Uh, that'll add, that could add a lot of weight doing that, and then get get the racket up to where I uh, to uh, where I want it, and then uh, make sure I've got everything matched up, and go for it. Uh, I forgot what the total weight was. Let me go back to the total weights. Whoops. Let me uh, let me tear this out. That racket is not that light. <laughs> Okay, that weighs 289 grams. And this racket weighs 345 grams. So I have a difference of 6. Uh, 8 from 13 is 56 grams. And I had 55 grams that I wanted to add in there. So uh, it looks like everything is coming out right. So by doing that, uh, by matching up all of these weights and everything, what I'm doing is I'm making the racket feel the same in my hand because when I have the weight here, this racket weighed 197 grams up here at this point. That's just like saying at this distance I've got 197 grams pushing down. So if I take this racket, if I want it to feel the same as this one, I'd say at this distance I want a, I want a weight of 197 grams out here. So I add my weight out there so that I get it to match up. These two rackets may have similar balance points right now. It's just that this one weighs about two ounces less than this one right here. If I just took all of my weight and added it right into this location right here, when I pick up the racket, it's not going to feel the same because this one has got a lot more of its weight centered out here on the racket than right here on the racket. So just finding the balance point and adding the weight till you get the balance to remain the same doesn't give you the same force or the same feel on the racket out here on the head. But by matching up all of these weights, I'll get the same feel of the racket or the, or the weight distribution of this racket will be a lot more like this, excuse me, the weight distribution on this racket will be a lot more like this one if I add the weights where I'm measuring everything at. I hope